Hey everyone, first of all, I can't believe I'm showing you this, but this is the reality of what my setup looks like. You can really tell uh, which setup is my favorite. This is what we're tackling today. I need to work on this all weekend because I'm just tired. Like, look at this. This is atrocious. This is embarrassing. So I'm going to essentially recreate my old setup on here. So we're gonna put the Gobi Glide and I think I might do something with the Nano Leaf lines as well. Although Colin took, I think, two or three of my lines so I might not have as many to do something really cool. We moved in and I just did not care about this side of my room. So let's let's figure this out. <laughs> let's tackle this. I kind of cleaned up um, except some pollen things down there but I think what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna pull it forward and I'm gonna work on the wall first because I, I have cables, new cables and then we're gonna tackle the cable management down below and we'll go from there. These Alex drawers are absolutely destroyed because of all the standing desks that I've put on top of them and they ended up just like ruining and scratching plus they've they've moved with me quite a few times. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna try and figure out how I can clean it in the best way. I think this will look a lot better once it's all cleared out because I need the storage. So they have to stay for now, but let's uh, let's get started with working on the wall, which is the most exciting part. Is these new Edifier Hecate, Hecate, I have no idea how to pronounce it. The new G2000s, I got them in white. They make a really cool sound when you turn them on. They're kind of RGB. And it also makes a cool sound when you turn it off. I think you can set the colors. Uh, right now it's like a baby blue, it looks really cool. It has a volume knob and you can switch and cycle between the different settings. They sound great. So this BenQ Dying Light Monitor has speakers and a subwoofer built in, but it just doesn't quite hit as uh, speakers, so these have been really nice with listening to music. Edifier also sent me their gaming metallic red headphones. They look so cool. I love the metallic. It's such a beautiful color, but I think it comes in a bunch of other colors as well. Unfortunately, it is wired um, and it has a microphone built in right here like so. Uh, pretty good quality. If you want something that's affordable but also looks and sounds great, these are a great contender. I'll have it linked in the description below along with the G2000s. I think I might cable manage tomorrow just because I'm unbelievably sore from working out uh, two days ago. I think I kind of injured my thighs. Like I physically can't even walk well. So there's no way that I can bend constantly and move down there. So we're probably just gonna do the wall today and tidy it up and then we'll manage all the cables tomorrow. Unless the nice thing about having a standing desk is maybe I can just make it really tall and cable manage everything and then lower it and then plug it in. You know what, Plexi Spa, I love you for that. We're gonna do that. I think that's gonna be our best bet because I think this goes fairly high or at least tall enough where I don't have to bend. This is the Flexi Spot Calm Hair Standing Desk. It is 48 inches. I got it for my last uh, room, which is fairly small. We have a lot more space. Maybe we'll upgrade one day, but for now I absolutely love it because it comes in, please don't judge me before I open this. It comes with a, a really cool built-in drawer that clearly I use, but just don't organize. And it's got some really cool features. You can lock it. So if you find yourself booping, because it is touch screen, I have booped it quite a few times. So this comes in big handy. Plus it has a USB-C and two USB ports, which is just amazing. So this is so handy for everyday use. I almost always have it standing. That's just the way I like to work because for my main setup, I don't have a standing desk anymore. So I sit a lot here and I try and guarantee myself to always be standing throughout the day when I'm working and this has served me well I've had it for a couple months I absolutely love it what's really cool is flexi spot is actually having their brand day so by the time you guys see this video it's starting on the 25th so they're having up to $200 off I highly recommend you guys go check them out if you are interested in one of their standing desks or even their chairs or anything from them at all I have a coupon code where you get 30 bucks off highly recommend checking out their brand day because they got some crazy deals and they are super reliable I absolutely love their desks uh, Colin aka nice setup dude he also has a flexi spot desk that he loves and uh yeah go check him out I 
just realized that Gobi must have updated their software on the app because I can now connect. I have two different sets and when I first got them, these are the very first version that were ever made. And when I first got them, you couldn't interchange them. So you had to remember which one came from one set and which one came from the other or else they would not pair. I just grabbed this one and it was originally connected at the end of this and it worked. And then now it's working on this set as well. So I'm really glad to see that Govi did that because that was so smart. It was super restricting to not be able to mix and match and add more onto whatever set you already had. What I'm gonna do on either sides of the wall, I have these posters, this is upside down, from Panda Gallery. They're kind of like a neon style, so I might put them on either edge, either side, just to add some color. So I'm waiting for my camera to charge, so I've just been cleaning up and uh, moving some things around. So maybe I'll do that for, for now. So I'm struggling a little bit. I can't cable manage until everything is on my desk and I know where everything's gonna go. I've realized that I don't really have a lot of nice things for this desk. Please mind the mess. You know, I've got a monitorizer, the Elgato, the D Devoom. I have speaker stands and a whole bunch of just like random things that eventually pull the space together. But this has always kind of been my throwaway because it's never been seen before. And I don't like the state that it's in right now. So I've got my work laptop hidden in there. Um, I don't use these headphones anymore so I'm probably gonna swap them out just because I have connect connectivity issues on my Mac. But I don't know like this monitor is just so large and eventually I'm planning to get an ultra wide for this but that's like way down the line and I just don't know. I had this lamp uh, but I think it just matches this aesthetic more. This is definitely the more RGB setup but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make this look good. I don't know what to add. I don't have any more things. I don't like this here. It just feels very empty. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a break and make some lunch and then we'll tackle this again so I can finish cable managing. But right now I am not very happy with it. Cables are looking so much better. I'm about to do a lowering the desk test. I just have to cable manage all the lights. Um, that's the Nano Leaf, the skinny one, and then this is my the power bar. So I have to figure out. I might not cable manage it just because it's not a very long cable anyways, and it needs to move. But I'm really scared. <laughs> Let's see if it can lower, and it doesn't pull anything out of its place. Here. I don't like this here. <laughs> 